like to call uh, Carlos Milani uh, now uh, to present uh, his book on the Brazilian Cooperation Agency, 30 Years History and Future Challenges. Thank you, Osmani. I don't have a PowerPoint, then it's going to be easier. It's this. It's not a collective book. It's a one-man book. Uh, it could have been a one-woman book, <laughs> but it is a one-man book. Uh, this book, uh, its origin, it's the demand by the um, uh, Brazilian Development Cooperation Agency to write uh, uh, something on its 30th anniversary. This is particularly interesting because Brazil was the first among all developing countries ever to establish a cooperation agency in 87. After Brazil, there was Chile in 1990 and Turkey in 1992. Uh, for you to have an idea, Mexico created its uh, agency in 2011. Uh, India created its agency in 2012. And China has just announced its, of course, huge in terms of scale, uh, new agency uh, to be uh, operational uh, already this year. Uh, what I find really, uh, what I found uh, during this research process interesting uh, uh, when writing, uh, doing the research and writing the book, uh, I think I could pinpoint three uh, issues. The first is the history of the agency, in the sense that I could have access to historical documents, to uh, former directors who are still alive, and, 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 uh, and they could give me an interview, and I could discover things that were very interesting. For example, when you visit the Brazilian Cooperation Agency in Brasilia, and you have a room, a meeting room, where we have the photographs of all the um, directors, the former directors of the agency, you don't see the picture of one of them because this one of them, who happens to have the same name that I have, his name is Carlos Roberto, just like me, but his family name is Cristali, he was the first and uh, ever the only uh, director of the agency who was not a diplomat. And then his photograph is not around. And, and, and the years, one year and uh, uh, 10 months during which uh, uh, he was the director, they are attributed to somebody else who is a diplomat. And then when I discovered this, and I was talking to the current ambassador, who is the director of the, currently the director of the Brazilian Development Cooperation Agency, he said, but can you prove it? Well, that's my work. I'm a researcher. Yes, I can prove it. And I have to find the documents uh, and, and the official uh, document which uh, stated that that man was the director, and, and this is interesting for the sake of understanding the relationship between diplomats and non-diplomats in, in the field of development cooperation in Brazil. And I think that the chapter on history uh, 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 portrays lots of new uh, pieces of information which were not available because this was a research that was uh, 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 commanded by the ministry itself and, and I told uh, the ambassador, when uh, the, the director of the, uh, the agency, when he uh, selected me to do this work, and said, are you sure of it? Because I want this to be a real book, not just consultancy, right? And, uh, and then he gave me all the freedom that I could have in order to, to write everything that I wanted to, provided that I had empirical evidence. Uh, the second uh, element which is present in the book is the first survey with diplomats that we were able to carry out. Uh, we, we made up a questionnaire and we uh, uh, sent this questionnaire out to all the uh, more than uh, 1,500 uh, Brazilian diplomats and uh, almost 400 of them answered the questionnaires which gave us a good uh, 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 I mean, uh, feedback in terms of analysis. And, 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 and then the, the book presents in its uh, third chapter the results of this survey conducted with the diplomats. It's the first time that diplomats to, uh, with such a large N ever responded to uh, a questionnaire uh, to a researcher. This is also something interesting that I think uh, reveals lots of new things on uh, uh, um, the support that lower diplomats third secretaries, many of them working in African countries, to this South, South cooperation agenda uh, that Brazil uh, has been carrying out for the last uh, uh, couple of years. Uh, 
And, and, and the third and last, and the third and last uh, uh, dimension that I like to mention is the, the use of uh, thematic cartography and the images that you can find in the book. Charts, maps, and, uh, and, uh, which is something that uh, the laboratory that I coordinate in Rio, Lab Mundo, is now well known uh, for doing this here in Brazil with a series of atlases on Brazilian foreign policy and Brazilian defense policy that we have published. We use this in this book too. And I hope you enjoy uh, reading it. It's free for, for download. I think the address is also mentioned in the program. And you can have some issues downstairs uh, when we go uh, finally uh, for the cocktail in a couple of minutes. Thank you.